Now, here we have my hexagon from the triangles I was sewing together earlier. Here we have two half hexagons from some more triangles, of course. And I chose a bit different kind of uh, color scheme here so you can get an idea of how it can look very different depending on the types of fabric you choose. And there's bright colors, dark colors, for monochromatic, say one color scheme, all blues, for example. Or if you want to have it, uh, the pretty strong contrast, like here with the light grays and very pale pink against the black. Now, of course, here we only have two halves, so I shall put them together. So, literally, I am going to sew them. And since these are a little bit wonky, they wiggle around when they're not sewn together yet, so I will put a couple of pins in. I have these um, quilting pins because they're a bit longer than the regular kind, but I also have some of the regular sewing pins too, so they work just as well. So, I like the long ones, but it's not really so important for this bit. The long ones are more for when you're you need them when you're sewing over batting, but we're not there yet. So, here we have all pinned together, and as you can see, it's not quite straight. I'm going to want to sew directly across so our points line up. That's as, that's as technical as we're going to get. At least I'm not talking about thingamajiggies and hickme doodles, but still. There's a little bitty bit of uh, quilter jargon for you. And change my stitch length. Yeah. So, off we go. all these little seams to lie flat if possible because that way we don't end up with the wonky like a donkey effect which is not really what I'm going for. I mean if that's what you're going for fine but in this case it's not. Now, there we go. You can see there's an X marks the spot if you like. So, other side. There. Just cut the thread. Pull out the remaining pins. And. This is the back side, all stitched together, and here's the front side. Hmm. Didn't come out.